Hey guys and welcome to the Domain Hunter Gatherer video guide series. Here I'm about to show you how to find thousands of quality aged domains and compare their quality to find the best aged or brandable domain name for your business or hobby. Domain Hunter Gatherer is able to go out and find domains for sale on all of the major auction websites to ensure that you are not missing out on any deals available today. So to start with we will go straight to the Domain Auction Hunter tab. Here to actually get the list of domains currently for sale all we need to do is fill in the keyword that we want to use for finding these domains. Simply enter in your keyword here and hit the start. In this example I'm just going to use the word gym and we're going to hit the start button and search for all auctions. Now this is in real time so you can see just how quickly your list of domains is being compiled. What it's doing is it's cycling through the list of um, domain auction sites and finding all of the domains containing your word and also related to your keyword. Okay, so you see currently it's picked up 579, 600 odd and it's going forward like that. Now it will be finished in just a second. Now when you have your list of domains, you can then see at a glance how old the domain is, the PR, whether it has a hyphen or any numbers in the domain name. Now all auctions will have their auction price listed along with the number of bids, if any have been made, in this column here. Uh, the buy, now, buy it now listings will have the price listed in the buy it now column and where, it, where there is an end date to the listing, it will be listed here. So we'll see down here, there's a lot of buy it nows. Uh, the, the domains with no price at all are generally um, listings to make an offer. So you can, if you want that domain, you can go to the listing directly by clicking on this and then it, you'll be taken directly to the listing and you'll be able to put in an offer for that domain there and then they'll get back to you on whether it's been accepted or being considered. Okay, I'll quickly go down, try and find an auction. Here you can see the auction price. You can see the auction price and when the auction listing ends. So these are ending in three and a half hours or so. And the, as you can see, just because they're auctions doesn't mean to say that they have to be um, expensive. There are quite a lot for $69 and some for far less or more, depending on the quality of them. Okay, so from here you can check a huge array of different quality metrics such as the page rank, um, the age of the domain. This is generally um, when the first bit of content was put on the domain as opposed to when it was first registered. So sometimes the age of the domain will actually be older than this, but I find that the age um, of which the domain had content on it to be far more important because that's when the search engines will have noticed that domain. Okay, you can also check whether the domain is listed in DMOZ or the Yahoo directory, how many links in Google or how many links Google reports to the user, how many pages of the domain are indexed as well as um, mentions of the domain in Google, uh, Google plus ones, Facebook likes, shares, Facebook comments, tweets, Pinterest, uh, pins, LinkedIn shares and so much more. If you're unsure about all the different metrics that can be checked for, I would suggest checking out the, the video um, showing the, the how to use the domain list controls because there's a lot of great tips and tricks in that video as well as going through all the different um, metrics that can be tested for. But ultimately, as you can see, the list goes way down below the video, so th there's a lot to go over there. Okay, so we, we now have the list of just over a thousand domains for that one keyword. Now, all this information here is great, but it is quite limited in its scope. So we can analyze the domains just by quickly going to the Analyze tab and then choosing All Filtered Auctions. Um, you can choose to um, analyze all of the auctions the filtered auctions which are the ones currently being showed, some selected auctions or favorited auctions. Um, for this example I'm just going to quickly select a, a few of those and then choose the selected auctions and then I'm going to simply hit the start analysis and you'll see straight away it's um, 
going out, checking the quality of the domains, it's getting the page rank, um, whether they're in the DMOS or Yahoo directory, how many links Google's reporting for them, how many times the domain is went mentioned on different websites and the different social shares and other information. If you have your Majestic, uh, Ahrefs, Mars, SEMrush or Shared Count information in there then it will check all of that information there and right away you can see out of the, the few that I selected there's some page rank 3's, 2's and so on. Uh, and the page rank 3 is on a, a domain with uh, 11 years online so that, that might be good but there, there's a lot more to these controls that there are videos on analyzing domains and filtering out the domains so once you've analyzed the domains you can actually filter out based on a bunch of different um, details um, so you can use those quite easily but there are videos on all of those controls and, and how to use them so if you want to know how to do that then I suggest you look at those but definitely take a look at the video um, talking about the, the domain list controls because there's some really good features and tips and tricks on there. Um, so yeah you can see in this video of just a few minutes how easy it is to find a bunch of domains and then check the quality of them. Uh, there will be more videos talking more deeply about how to use the analyzer feature along with more in-depth guides on the different controls to really whittle down your purchasing options to the absolute best domains available. If you want to get in touch you can use the, the help desk um, in the members area or you can email us at support at domainhuntergatherer.com. Um, we really appreciate any uh, feature requests or um, anything like that or if you've got any questions just get in touch and we'll do our best to answer them as quickly as possible. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.